Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss given a perceptron network, how to find the weighted sum as well as how to find the output of the neuron using different activation functions like threshold, logistic and rectified linear activation functions. So in this case, we have been given a single layer perceptron network with three inputs that is D1, D2 and D3. D0 is a bias in this case. W0, W1, W2, W3 are the weights given to us. We need to calculate the two things here. The first one is the weighted sum. Uh, to calculate the weighted sum, we need to know the value of this uh, input vector. That is D is equal to 0 0.2, 0 0.5 and 0 0.7 is given. That means uh, D1 is equal to 0.2, D2 is equal to 0.5 and D3 is equal to 0.7 in this case. Once you calculate the weighted sum, the next step is to calculate the output using different activation functions. The first one is a threshold activation function with theta equals to 1. Second one is a logistic activation, logistic activation function. Third one is rectified linear activation function that is nothing but ReLU in this case. So first uh, we will try to calculate the weighted uh, sum here. To calculate the weighted sum, we use uh, this equation that is uh, Z is equal to the input multiplied by weight here. So first uh, the input to this bias is equal to D0 that is nothing but 1. The weight is equal to W0 here. So 1 multiplied by W0. The next is uh, the inputs. Inputs are uh, D1 multiplied by W1. D1 is uh, 0.2 here. So 0.2 multiplied by W1. D2 multiplied by W2. That is nothing but the 0.5 multiplied by W2. D3 multiplied by W3. D3 is 0.7 multiplied by W3. That is what I have written here. Now I need to put the value of W0, W1, W2 and W3 here. We know those values from this network. Once I solve it, I will get 0.29 as the weighted sum of this neuron in this case. Once you calculate the weighted sum, this part, the next step is to apply the activation function and get the output here. Now there are different activation functions are given to us. We will apply each of those activation functions and then we will try to calculate the output here. The weighted sum is equal to how much? Z is equal to 0 0.29. We have calculated here because that is required to calculate the actual output in this case. Now, coming back to the first activation function, that is a threshold activation functions, where theta is equal to 1 given to us. Now, according to a threshold activation function, uh, whenever the weighted sum, that is nothing but Z, uh, is greater than the theta value, the output will be equal to 1. If uh, the calculated uh, weighted sum is not greater than or equivalent to, uh, you can say that 0, it, the output will be equal to 0 in this case. Now, the calculated uh, weighted sum is uh, 0.29. The theta given to us is 1. 0.29 is not greater than or equivalent to 1 here. Because it is not greater than or equivalent to 1, the output will be equal to 0 in this case. So, this is the simplest process uh, with which we will be able to calculate the output using the threshold activation function. Coming back to the second one that is known as a logistic activation function. The logistic activation function is given by this equation that is 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus z here. Z is already calculated that is equal to 0.29. Once you put that 0.29 in this equation and solve it, you will get 0 0.57199 and so on. So this is the output using logistic activation function here. The third activation function given to us is a rectified linear function, also known as a rectified linear unit or a ReLU in this case. The rectified linear units work something like this. Rectifier of Z, Z is nothing but what? The calculated weighted sum, which is always equal to maximum of 0, Z here. Uh, if the value of Z is uh, uh, less than 0, the output will be 0 here. If it is greater than 0, the output will be z in that particular case. Now, if you look at here, the value of z is equal to 0 0.29, uh, which is uh, greater than 0, or you can say that uh, the maximum between 0 and 0 0.29 is uh, 0 0.29, so the output will become the 0 0.29 in this case. That's the simplest way with which we can understand the rectified linear unit activation function in this case. So, in this video, I have discussed given a simple uh, perceptron network, how to calculate the weighted sum and how to calculate the output using different activation functions like uh, threshold activation function, uh, logistic activation function and a rectified linear activation function. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग